of fun music for this film. He tried to look some music for his film. We're yeah. sitting in the library. I have my headphones on for a reason this time. I don't have headphones with me. That's disgusting. Anyway, this week, Toby made a strange sandwich, and here is a clip from that. Toby, what is this supposed to be? Corned beef and French mustard. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Show him. Ah. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back in HD. Anyway, Lewis came back to the flat this week along with his girlfriend Laura and we left this little message for him on Facebook. Hi Lewis, you didn't think that you left your door open, but you kind of did. So we made a few changes. We took everything out of your room just to make it a bit cleaner. We wrapped up two of your DVDs in foil and newspaper just to be kind to put them back neatly. And we, we just decorated. We like it this way. We know that you're coming down today and you'll see this in about six hours. So hopefully you enjoy it when you come back. Yay! <laughs> I'll do the flappy out. I think this deserves to be one of the best April Fools ever, despite the fact we're not in April Fools. You may have noticed it was a bit more blurring in that video. Nothing to do with the fact that certain people put certain naughty words on certain amounts of certainly innocent paper. Unfortunately, his door wasn't actually open. Instead, we trashed my room as much as we could. I filmed it and we flipped the video around to make it look like his room and superimposed it over his door. So when he saw it on Facebook a few hours before he came back, he was pretty convinced that we trashed his room. And then when he got here, he realized that was not the case. I think you locked the door actually. <laughs> <laughs> I am really confused. <laughs> Thumbs up if you think that was an epic prank. You look really pretty. Last dressing day. Laura came down this week. You don't know what to say, do you? No. Certain antics may have occurred, including Lewis being the man and sitting on top of her. Also this week my sister and her boyfriend Sam came down to see me, which was great. We had a great time. I'm here with my sister. This is my sister. And Sam who's her boyfriend. Hi. Um, <laughs> We just came down to Newport so she could have a look around the house for next year and for the new city campus. What do you think of it, Jen? It's great. What do you think of it, Sam? Such a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Went to a car race, so I got stuffed with food. And it was great to see you two again, so if you are watching, bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
angry in front of everyone. I haven't actually vlogged since before Valentine's Day, so what did I do for Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day is the one day of the year where it's socially acceptable to cry in public about your Facebook relationship status. So to avoid all that, pretty much everyone I knew went to Weatherspoons together. And out of the half an hour we were there to forget our troubles, the one interesting thing that happened was Lewis squished his burger. That's the size of the burgers as well. Oh, so. And that was without bacon. All I have done is just... Oh my god, that was... You've ruined that burger. No, you have just ruined that burger, Lewis. Just to all you new dudes and dudettes, if you want to stalk me and know what I'm up to about 24-7, rummage around the description box for the link. Facebook.com forward slash Rob Life. That's it for this week, guys. Just going back to the beginning of the video, what's the best prank you've ever pulled on someone else?